It's time to go inside the huddle. Glenn Clark for SFMSports.net alongside Stevenson Volleyball Coach Dave Trumbo. Coach, good to see you once again. Howdy, Glenn. Always good to see you after a 3-0 week. Oh, yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> and certainly good to see you when you're riding a 13-match yeah. win streak okay. into the playoffs. Those are yeah. those are good things. That's the plan. Yeah, that was right. the plan all along. <laughs> um, you know, what? Everything changes now, obviously, mm-hmm. as you guys head towards the conference tournament. A little bit different for you because you go in, have it, it's going to take a little bit longer for you to learn who your opponent's going to be on Wednesday night. Is is that a little bit tough for you where you're like, God, I'd just like to know now and start preparing for them? Or do you say it's such an advantage that they're going to be coming off having played two days beforehand that you prefer it this way? Yeah, I would prefer it this way because, number one, if we were the, we were the two seed, you we'd, couldn't be, have... we'd be playing Lebanon Valley or Messiah. Right. Don't want to be playing them this early, right? <laughs> to, to tell you the truth, there's a big difference. I get that. Uh, number one and number two, um, we played both the teams before, so yep. it's not going to take as much time yep. to prepare and getting to host the possibility of hosting a championship game. Of course, you know we'll, we'll take the not yeah. knowing four or five. Yeah, all right, fair we're enough. Gonna get a chance, we're going to get a chance <laughs> to host, and that is just that is the biggest deal. Obviously. Uh, that, and that, which great. will come up on Saturday. Yes. Right. Yes. That will come up on Saturday, and our record at home uh, has been very good. And so we're looking forward to that. But to tell you the truth, we are only focusing on Wednesday. We're yep. not talking about Saturday whatsoever. Is there a, a level of pressure that the girls feel about the success that you all have had in the past, that this is almost expected of them to, to get through this? Um. Yes and no. Okay. I think that they do. It's unspoken um, because of what the expe- our expectations, what's happened in the past. Uh, but to tell you the truth, we're prepared this whole year based around Lebanon Valley Messiah. Yeah. You know, saying, okay, how do we get good enough to beat them? Yeah. From day one, this was, you know, we played a very t- tough schedule. We- we've lost seven matches this year. That's more than we've lost um, you know, the last four years, we didn't lose seven matches in any of those years. Right. But we played tough opponents to try to get better, find as much about we, ourselves as we can to prepare for this conference tournament. Uh, so that kind of takes some of the pressure away. They knew exactly what the plan is from the beginning. Yep. And we're hoping that um, we'll be ready to play as long as we win on Wednesday. <laughs> how, how comfortable do you feel with, because again, it's, everything's different now. It's do or die. Right. You know, like there is no, uh, we didn't have our night that night. No right. big deal. We'll get him back. Like mm-hmm. this is, you don't have your night on Wednesday night and the season's over. How comfortable do you feel right now with the girls in that position? Well, we're playing the best volleyball we've had all season. There's no question that we are. We've figured a lot of things out. We've, and, you know, as we're coming down the stretch run, like we've done in other years, we're really playing great volleyball. I'm not very comfortable with Wednesday night at all. Um, to tell you the truth, Widener and Hood have both beaten us a set. They both played really well when they played us. Uh, I feel comfortable in the fact that we have a lot of veteran, experienced players yeah. that are going to be out there that have been in the situation before. So even though we only have two seniors, we do have veteran players. And so they've been in the situation before. And I hope and feel like we're going to play our best. Any type of coach superstitions this time of the year? Anything that you like, yeah, I have to have the same smoothie in the morning or something? Anything like that? Yeah, you know, I started that way. I used to be that way in high okay. school. We just play so many doggone matches that you just, <laughs> that, that you just can't have. You can't have superstitions. But when it gets, gets to this time of year, because we're trying to figure out what time do we want to play if we play on right, Saturday. Right. Oh, but last year we played – no. And what would be the best? How can we be? We want a crowd. We right. want the best crowd right. we can possibly get. Right. So we're trying to figure out that because football's home on Saturday. There so, you go. okay, how are we going to get the biggest crowd there to support Stevenson Volleyball? And we like that. And again, it starts on Wednesday night. Come out Wednesday night and support Stevenson Volleyball, trying to punch a ticket to the championship game. Seven o'clock. There you go. We like everything about it. Coach, go get him, all right? Thank you. Very good. He is Dave Trumbo, Stevenson Volleyball coach. For more about the volleyball program here at Stevenson, go to gomustangsports.com. I'm Glenn Clark, inside the huddle for sfmsports.net.